Hello everyone, CreeperJones651 here, and welcome back to some more Craftopia today! A sincere craftable in the world of Gordita! To be able to use a two-handed sword, you must obtain a skill two-handed. Interesting. You know what? I think today, we're gonna try to get to a, a point where we can ex actually unlock another island. We're gonna try to unlock another island today, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Yep, yep, mm -hmm. Alright, here we are. And... Voila! Everybody, respawn! There we are! Y'all are so nice! You... 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 And... You! Goodbye! Did you just say you'll regret this? I don't think I will. Alright. Let's collect these eggs for another feast. Okay. Oh, I forgot I had the glider. Okay, so... What's next on the agenda? Just, uh... Check our, uh... Missions here. We need to... Prepare a wooden axe in the inventory. Easy enough. This is the wooden axe, right? There we go. Next up is learn how dangerous raw meat is by eating it. Simple enough. All I have to do is find a cow. And they're everywhere. Hey, uh, yeah. Hey, come back here. I wasn't done. You. Hey, yeah. Okay, now let's go over here, select that. Oh, that is, that hurts! Okay, so now that we did that dumb thing, uh, let's go ahead and see what this is. Make a wooden stick. You know what? You twisted my arm, I'm gonna do that. Let's go ahead and chop down a tree because, well, why not? Okay, let's go ahead and craft ourselves a wooden stick because, who knows, we could never need it. Um, yeah, shish kebabs. We could make shish kebabs. But, okay, let's go ahead and claim that mission category reward. There we go. We got a skill point, I think. Um, no, it was equipment inventory, excuse me. Okay, eat cooked meat to fill your stomach. You know what? That's easy enough to do. Let's go ahead and pick up these herbs, though. Because when we get our potion brewing station, we will have plenty to go around. Okay, so back here. Let's go ahead and... Well, we're gonna make flour. I, I mean, come on. Okay. Wait, that's... Glass. I can make glass? You know what? What is this used for? Details. Don't make the details. Set details. Details, my guy. Okay, fine, whatever. You know what? I'll forget that. Anyways, like I said in the last episode, we're gonna actually we're gonna uh, check out what's new. So we have a whole bunch of new tools unlocked from iron to titanium, and that's silver and steel along the way. We now have our monster prisms, so we can catch them all. This includes <laughs> get this the villagers or the merchants. I can capture them, and later on I can turn them into my minions. <laughs> This is also what I'm going to need. I'm going to need this bell to make a captured enemy warm up to me. It's important if I want to become a tamer, so that's going to be needed. Okay, so let's get this furniture workbench, because honestly, we're going to need to make some nice... We're going to need to make a very nice uh, place to live. And for those of you who are wondering how I got here in the first place, first of all, why are you starting on the episode 2 when there's clearly an episode 1? Anyways. The, the reason is, this is the story of Sir Craftable, and how one day, he just casually blew up the world. Yep, that's me. And there you go. Now I'm here. I blew up the world, yes. You're welcome. I ended all of humanity's suffering in one single swoop. I am the genius. 
Okay, so let's go. <laughs> let's go place this down. That's not what I want to do. This is equipped. Okay, All right. Let's place it here. Eventually, I'm gonna have to get it organized, but that's not right now. Okay, furniture and old brick wall. Should we go with a brick style building? I don't know if that's the best move. Um, old brick slope. Hmm. You know what? I might actually go for this uh, with a ruins floor. Oh, it's so difficult to decide though. Hmm. I think. Yeah. Look at all this new stuff. All this new stuff everywhere. We got galvanized floor. It's expensive as heck. And not gonna lie, Tommy mats are pretty good. Uh, they are very nice for the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and check the blacksmith and see what's new there. We have shields all the way up to titanium. We have all these uh, weapons now. Uh, the blue rose edge. This is clearly from uh, a sword art on the line alicization. Um, anyways, this sword appears in stories of heroes who handled swords with artistry. Its blue handle is a bit cold when you touch it. When equipped, it allows you to use the skill Frostmine. The first embodied secret of the other world is inscribed within this sword. Like I said, it's a reference to Sword Art Online. I don't know how many of these things are references, but certain things are just absolutely hilarious and have no point. Like this crutch. <laughs> There's not enough space to explain this item. Even though it doesn't seem to be a valuable item, it could be a precious item full of infinite possibilities. Maybe. Yeah. See, there's a bunch of funny things like that. Certain things don't even have descriptions, but like I said, early access. So, let's see. We could go for some amulets or rings. In fact, we're going to need some of these uh, going forward, uh, so we might as well collect those uh, when we have time. Anyways, we also have clothes. I need to get one of these, so let's go ahead and actually get ourselves... Um, we're, let's go ahead and... Oh, I could possibly... Wait, is it turning nighttime? The sun has gone down. Skelly's come up. Okay. But yeah, like I said, I think, like I said in the last episode, I think that skeleton spawns only at midnight because it doesn't spawn like immediately uh, once the sun sets. Okay, so I know there's a bunch of good places to get leather up here. So that's where I'm heading. And you! Okay, too many trees in the way. Come on, Fox, don't make this harder than it needs to be. Okay, so I got some fox leather. Um, it's one, I need 20. We're going on a bit of a fox hunt. Okay, actually, I think deer might give more. Okay, come on, get back here. Come on, they're also really hard to, to catch. Like, Oh, I could have got it if I was more patient. Okay. Okay, yeah, that didn't give me what it... Ah, yes! Skeleton. Potato seeds. There we go. Ah, some more red herbs. Didn't know about that spot. So, I don't think the deer actually give leather. Also, I need to just clear out all of this brush because my durability on my sword is going to go down tremendously if I don't. Oh! I completed something, apparently. Well, one thing's for sure, I'll have plenty of... Uh, plenty of wood. Alright, so what is this? So you have a stick. You had a stick. And copper ore, lizard's bone, okay. Alright, so... Let's get back to the task at hand, which is uh, getting some fox leather. It's easier at night, I guess, because they're all sleeping. Alright. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit, so we'll probably just either do a fast transition until when we have it. Or if something comes up, we'll pop back then.
Alright, I'm not seeing any foxes over here. Let's head over uh, to the other area. I forget I can run. Ah, chickens. There's another bear down there, to, and it's already spotted me. Okay, time to go. So if you look up there, that's the Anubis Island. Um, one of the Egyptian gods uh, lives up there. Okay, what do we have here? Ah, just a bone, whatever. Okay. Iron. Right. Foxes. Yeah, like I said earlier, I need to demolish these trees. There we go. There's another loot chest over here. What do we got? Okay, well, they all can't. They can't all be winners. And again, the likelihood of them all being losers is kind of frustrating. So here's what I'm thinking, right? Oh no! Don't. Oh, I just barely missed that. Okay, it's time I built a house. Let's craft up some old food, and uh, yeah, this takes a long time to craft, so let's go ahead and cook that up. Okay, we need to start building our house. Um, it was taking a bit too long, you know, for the other thing to... I hate that sound. That cooking sound. Oh my gosh, I hate it. Anyways, um, Katami mats. Great. Quit. Let's go ahead and make our house. I feel like it should be something like at this level. And then we needed the other style of the Tommy mat. Okay, and we're gonna make a bit of a, a grid pattern. So let's go ahead and we're gonna move these down down here. And this will be our building slot. Okay, cool. And we're gonna make sure not to let it uh, be on the uh, spawning area. Okay, let's get rid of this tree, it's in the way. So, fun fact about this world, the resources don't actually get regenerated. Um, so, gotta be careful with what you have, and you can't exactly replant a tree just like normal. Just like, you know. So, gotta be careful about the environment. Alright, got that out of the way. I do have to say, the graphics are incredible uh, for how limited they are. The style is great. Okay, cool. And I think, just a couple more. And we can start bringing things up. Like this guy. Why did I get fences? Oh. It's a... It's a bit of a reward system. Okay, let's get that. Let's get that. Let's carefully take that. Move that. Move this. Move that. Right. Let's go ahead and, uh... Eat this. There we go. Alright. So let's let's set our stuff in a very nice organized manner. We'll have this uh, right there for now. And let's go ahead and Oh, I can earn a skill now. Let's do that. One skill point. Okay. Vitality, Rabbit Jump, Collector. Do, 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 do. Increase the movement. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Magic. Creates bonfire from nothing. Huh. Water creation. Creates a bucket of water from nothing. 
Runic Barrage. Consecutively fire magical bullets. Alright. Now I'm going to actually uh, head back to skills and equip that because that is quite handy. Oh, that is sick! That sound. Oh. Well, that is freaking awesome. Get back here, chicken. Stood no chance. Alright, we can claim the reward. Okay. I got a skill point, huh? Okay. So, tab, skills. Okay. The cooldown is kind of long on that. I don't want it to be. Let's level that up. Woo! Okay. Rune stream every spell cast will increase in damage until you receive damage. That is sick. Okay. Magic shield. That's also good. Magical quiver. Cyclone. Arch heal. Magic blade. Oh, I like these. Magic Grasps. Every melee attack grants you the buff that increases ma damage of magic attack skills. When you cast a magic attack skill, the buff will be gone. Hmm. Trick. Okay, dead. Satiation. Um. Lean Force. Store life when a buff is applied. Mana Drain. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, we'll go over those later. For now, what we've been needing to do is snag this, snag that, and get back up here to our new platform. Might as well place this right here. Okay. And... Okay, we're gonna need some platforms. So... Craft up. And out here will just be our farmland. There we go. Now let's see to walls. Okay, so I think we should go for. Oh, a bed. We we'll get ourselves a bed. But that would take the leather, and I need to save that leather. Those ruins walls look pretty neat. I think we'll go with those. However, the plaster wall is looking pretty sweet. Let's get about 30 of these. Craft those up. Heck yeah. Here we go. Placing walls all over the place. Alright. I made a mistake. And that mistake was... Ugh. I never make... I never make... Houses that are... Okay, I'll probably turn this into something else. There we go. Alright. We're gonna make a doorway here. No, not there. Great, right. and I think I'll use this to keep from running into the fire. <laughs> Anyways, like I said uh, at the beginning, today's uh, video is more along the lines of uh, getting to the next island. I got a little distracted, not gonna lie, so let's see what it takes to get to a new one. Open that. Let's actually travel. We might get more uh, leather there, who knows? The world, the, the island that I go to is always random, so. However, I have been to this one before a few times. There's werewolves here at night, I'm pretty sure. All right, you, Miss Lady. Well, I don't think you guys need any help. Kick the bear into the river, fearing for your life. 
dead. I doubt you would be fearing for your life if you were able to do that. The bear was probably like, oh my gosh, what is she? A monster? Yeah, probably something like that. Alright, we got some copper. And there's these guys over here. Looks like a market. You there. I don't know what you got. You though. Yes, I want to buy something. Oh wow. I got here a little quick. That's all extremely expensive. You know what? There's always something I can do. And I could get something from him regardless. You. The merchant will respawn, guys, but he drops something if I attack him. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. Let me see those stats. We got 145. That is a lot more than our 80. Sword no a sword and ability used in, sword and ability used in a duel in order better to shed blood is lost it was often to adopt a rule that thin blade to the limit were preferred for the light like, please just fix fix your fix your english my god okay this egg let's go test out uh how great our uh new weapon is there should be some wild animals down this way. Definitely more damage than the other one. Get back here. There we go. Got some leather. That's a kind of a dangerous place to go in, uh, but it holds some great rewards. So I'm gonna see if I can... Wah! Well, yikes. No, I'm grabbing that. There. At least I got everything that I was wanting. There we go. See, if you respawn, uh, keep inventories on. Um, so what did I get? Uh, let me check my inventory. Got some seeds of pepper. Bean seeds and some egg red herb seeds so I can practically grow night. Yo! How dare you? And second of all, how dare you? Get away from me! You scary beastman. And how I am dead how am I not dead, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. I don't know. <laughs> 